What's going on everybody? My name is P.T. Burnham. I'm just giving you that short video that I promised of my hacked Korg Monotron playing nice with my MPC-1000. Uh, for those of you who are just joining us, I hacked this little tool slash toy uh, from Korg. It's a cool little, little device. Um, costs about $65 with tax and it generates sounds and all sorts of stuff but the really really cool part is that it comes equipped with the analog filter from the old MS-10 synths that Korg made and it's not a model it's the actual chip so it sounds really good and it's also got an auxiliary input allowing you to run any external sound through that filter so let me give you an example of what this thing sounds like just the filter I used a uh, sound that I blended a, a guitar hit with a Moog bass. So here's that. And it's running through this filter right now. You can shut it off. Bring it in. It sounds good, sounds good, but it uh, gets really juicy when you start to turn up the resonance filter on it. really deep sounds out of this for a very low cost. So that's really cool and you can you can do that without modifying the device at all. You just run your one of your MPC outs into the auxiliary input and then run the headphone out into uh, your mixer or whatever. Um, one word of caution if you're gonna run uh, a line out from the headphone jack, do not run a mono line out, it will short the damn thing out. I did not find out the hard way, but I know someone who did. So, don't do that. Only run a stereo out. Anyways, uh, the really cool thing that I've done here though, and it's very simple, it takes about maybe six hours worth of work uh, with breaks for dinner and lunch, and um, you, just, you just solder in a few connections and a resistor, and you can modify it for external control voltage control. Now, a lot of people don't know that the MPC-1000 can send control voltage directly from its quarter-inch outs, but it can. So, what I'm doing here is I'm running the, uh, the number three out into the auxiliary in, and the number four out is sending control voltages into the control voltage in here. So, here's that original sound. Here it is with the control voltage control. That's what's up. So you can, what's cool is not just that you can get it to chop it up like that, but you can actually sequence those chops within the NPC. So like here, it's not a very good example, I just ripped it up real quick, but here's like a pattern. So you can, you can sequence that any way that you want, the same way that you would sequence sounds inside the MPC. And you can also do it live. You could tap a pad and have that pad trigger the opening of the filter. Very cool. Now, another thing that I've done here is um, the... The, um, the velocity of the control voltage sample that you're sending can be mapped to the Q-Link slider. And so you can control the filter through the Q-Link, like this. Basically the same way you would control the MPC filter, the internal filter, but it's a hell of a lot more juicy get some really good sound. Check that out. I mean, that's, that's a deep sound. Very nice. Um, so yeah, you can control that, and you can also sequence those controls so that you don't have to continue doing it. Um, all in all, a very cool little filter. Um, if you want to do this modification on this yourself, 
Uh, it's very cheap, maybe $2 worth of parts. And I've got some pictures up on my Facebook showing you how to do it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I love talking about this shit. Um, and yeah, I guess that's about it. Oh, if you want to see some shit that I've done with this and other projects of mine, you can go to www.ptburnham.com. And I will be talking to you later.